Welcome for this mathematics lesson. We're going to discuss angle properties of a circle with chords and tangents. We are told in this question 24 that in the figure below, O is the center of the circle. Then BC and DC are tangents to the circle. We're also given that the angle BCO is equal to 25 degrees. Then OEC is a straight line. OEC a straight line. Then BC together with DC are tangents to the circle. Something you should know about tangents to a circle from a common point to the circle are equal. Therefore, BC and DC are equal are equal lengths. <clears throat> we are now told to find the values of the following angles. Stating the reason in each case. Stating the reason in each case. The first angle to be found is BOC. BOC. With this as 25, we should know that when a radius like OB makes an angle with a tangent, that angle should be right angled. So we have 90 degrees here. Same wise to this other side. 90 degrees. So if this is 90 degrees and this is a 25, then angles inside the triangle BOC should be 180 because they should total to 180. Then we subtract 90 and 25. And this is going to be exactly 65 degrees. The reason behind is angles in a triangle. Angles in a triangle. They should give us 180. So the value of this one is 65. So the angle at this point is 65. Okay. We got <clears throat> another question here. OED. OED. The value of this angle. The value of this angle. Therefore, we can solve other few angles, other few angles like uh, the value of this angle should also be 65. Then this is also at 25, 25 degrees. And now that this angle is 90 and the angle at this point is equal to 25 and this is 65, there are some other angles which can still be found and that will include if we make a code BE for instance yes we can include that code so that we have BE <coughs> now we can talk about a code B D or DB producing an angle of 130 at the center of a circle. That means the same same code should produce a half, which is 65 at the circumference. So the angle here is 65 degrees. Something else which is supposed to be understood is that <coughs> the code which is making an angle of 65 is also making another angle. It's also making another angle at a point here. Or rather, we can talk of what we call opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. If this is 65, the angle at this point should be able to give us 180 when added. So the angle at E is going to be 180 minus 65. This is going to be 180 minus 65, giving us 115. Yeah, the whole of this angle is 115. 115. We can also find the sizes of the angles at these points. The sizes of the angles at these points. Now that this is a radius together with this, then we should be able to know that because this is 65, then the base angles here are supposed to be the balance from 180 we divide by 2. 
So when we divide by 2, we're going to get 57.5. So the angle here is 57.5. And the angle here is also 57.5. Therefore, with 57.5 and 57.5 and 65, we are getting 180. And again, we should know now that this is a straight line, then the angle at this point can also be found. The angle at that point can also be found. But we wanted OED. OED. Yeah. So the angle OED is going to be 115 divided by 2, giving us 57.5 degrees base angles. Base angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. A cyclic triangle, sorry. A cyclic triangle. Mm -hmm. Base angles of isosceles. Isosceles triangle. Therefore, what you should know is that uh, the angle here is isosceles. The triangle OED is isosceles in that Two sides are equal, so the base angles are supposed to be equal. And that is why we are dividing the balance here from 180 with 2 to get 57.5. The angle to be found also is CDE. 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 So we can find the angle at E first of all, whereby we need 180. We subtract 57.5. Now that it is a straight line, we get 122.5 degrees. So the angle at this point is 122.5 degrees. And we have a 25 here. So considering the triangle DEC, DEC, now we can get the remaining angle, which is going to be 180 minus, we have 122.5 and 25. Yes. So that angle can be found as 32.5 angles in a triangle. They should give us 180. So that is how we get the value of the missing angle. Angle BED. Angle BED. B E. D. That is the angle we found as 115. 115. Reason being, <coughs> it is opposite angle. Opposite angles. In a cyclic contralateral. Cyclic contralateral. Should give us 180. And we are already having 65 on the opposite side. So we already have 65, so the angle opposite here should be 115, so that they may give us 180. Finally, we are also finding the reflex angle DAE. 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 So let me produce that angle. Yes. So with DAE, we need to know that this angle can be found and it is a half of the angle at the center because DE is a chord and it produces an angle at the circumference and another angle at the center at 65. Then the one at the circumference should be a half this one. So 65 out of 2 should give us the angle at the circumference. 65 out of 2. So 65 out of 2. This is giving us that 2.5 degrees. So that now we get the reflex angle. Then we will need 360 minus the angle we have here. This will give us 327.5 degrees. Angles at a point. Angles at a point. Anchor set a point. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.